What's going on, Scorpio? <clears throat> gang, gang, gang. Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses. Mm -hmm. I love the fuck out of you guys. You know that. To my returning OG subscribers. What's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. <clears throat> This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your cat, your dog, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to stay tapped into the energies like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I'm currently running a $44.44 special for June Cash app, PayPal, email me, I'll get started. <clears throat> Everything else is in the description box below. Ooh, somebody is wearing me thin right now. <clears throat> okay, so Scorpio, I'm getting somebody, somebody in grief, somebody... <clears throat> okay, so Scorpio, you this feels like you met somebody new. It feels like y'all had kind of like this <clears throat> no strings attached connection for a little while, okay? I feel like you don't even know that this person was married or anything like that because it was a no strings, you know, type connection, right? Um I feel like this person disappeared from you for a while. No big deal because it wasn't like y'all was in love with each other or like building a relationship. This was somebody who you really enjoyed spending time with. <clears throat> they enjoyed spending time with you. This was somebody who was very closed off though. I will say that. To you, closed off to the world, just closed off period. Okay, but... This person, whoever this person was married to, they passed. <clears throat> this person dis is disappearing or has disappeared for a year or so. I'm here and they have to get their shit together as far as like business aligned. Up. This person is also feeling survivor's guilt. They're almost feeling Scorpio as though they willed this person to die because they wanted to be with you. And you don't even know they feel this way. Ain't that some crazy ass shit? So this person is really trying to close out a lot of cycles before they come make you this offer. This person is really grieving, they, but they're not grieving that the person has passed. This person is like, they, they want to get it all out because when they come towards you, they don't want to have any energy. They, this person know you're a high priestess. This person know that you're very intuitive. Maybe they, can, they are as well. I just heard counterintuitive. I don't know what the fuck that meant, but okay. <clears throat> this person is very sad, though. They they feel like they willed this person to pass. Either way, I'm hearing too. They they this lady left them a lot of money, so this person is able to take time off from work. This could be you. Put yourself wherever the store fits, but this person is. Doing a lot of things, closing a lot of things that have to do with this woman. It's almost like he's, he or she is detaching this person away. You know, they're taking care of all the final businesses with the funeral and the inheritance and, you know, like that. But mostly this person is mentally preparing for you spiritually, Scorpio. Yeah, look, the Empress. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's see what's... <clears throat> I feel like this marriage was a marriage of obligation. It, it doesn't feel like anybody was in love in this house. You know what I'm saying? But like if you pass by, if you was a passerby or you were a neighbor, you say, man, they got a nice house. Man, they got a nice boat. Man, they got a nice truck. Man, they, you know, you think that this was, you know, the Joneses or you think this was the Jeffersons. This, this was a family that's, you know, doing okay. But it's on the inside of the house where it feels more like a job, okay, in, instead of um, domestic bliss here. I feel like this person could have 
<clears throat> married this person um, because of like everybody around was saying that's like the next thing for them to do. They could have been childhood sweethearts. I don't want to get too much into it. Um, but, and I feel like this lady may have had children by him, you know, with the emperor showing up and the reverses just wasn't his person. So a lot of things kept them together that was not love. It was the very opposite of that. Okay, that makes sense, Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, the cherry. I'm telling you, this person, this person, really, this person died is a victory. Okay, I'm telling y'all the mind, how this, how this is affecting this person. To them, because I, I feel like the relationship was dead anyway, but something feels like death is the only thing that would have separated these two. Because the whole connection is not set up on what people traditionally get married for or whatever. I feel like family either like made them get married or like was telling them, man, that's like the next thing to do. Y'all been together this long. Y'all had a kid. She pregnant. You know, like that type of energy. But now this person, they're finding victory in this person's death. They just have to be able to process this. You could, this could be a Virgo or Aries. Scorpio, I just heard cancer as well. Always get Pisces. Okay, so this person, they take off a year. This this symbolizes to their journey here of closure, closing up cycles. This person is very concerned. Yes, look at the bottom of this deck. Speak source. This person is very concerned with making sure everything is laid out for you. When they make this offer, when they come towards you, they're not coming towards you with a maybe, a if, or, you know, I could get, keep a promise, maybe not. No, th this person is coming back healed. This person has processed this loss. This per person no longer feels as though this um, death was their fault. They feel now like it was fated to happen. Okay, this person is feeling very empowered about y'all's connection and coming towards you as well. What else here? What did I say, Scorpio? <laughs> what did I fucking say? So what I'm instantly getting here, <clears throat> yeah, judgment on the bottom of the deck. What I'm instantly getting here with the four of wands is this person, this person and you, I feel like, because I feel like y'all are mirroring because don't, people don't have no string attached relationships when they're healthy, happy, and whole and healed, right? What I'm getting is both of you guys came from a some type of connection where the connection on the outside of the house or the appearance of y'all connection looked very strong, very, you know, like full of love. But if you enter the inside of the house, you would know how chaotic it was. So I feel like you both were looking for outlets when you found each other. But y'all just didn't know this shit was set up by the most high. Ugh, I hate beet juice. It's beet. Beet juice. Ugh. All right. What else? So this person is wanting to come into union with you as well. I mean, the death severed his, the, you know, his connection with her as far as marriage. So he's not worried about that. But um, <clears throat> this person is this person is going to show up and like straight up propose to you. It will be no. Hey, how you doing, Scorpio? I'm back in town. I just want to see if you want to hang out like y'all used to. It'll be more formal. When you see this person again, they'll be confessing and professing their love to you. This person is going to tell you the whole story about this wife thing. I don't feel like you feel no type of way about it because, you know, it was a no strings attached connection. I don't even feel like y'all talked about much. Okay, period. <laughs> this person just fell in love with you. This person found themselves obsessing with you. <clears throat> with a strength card here. This person feels as though it took impeccable strength, Scorpio, just to be away from you as long as they did, knowing that you were their person. This person feels very guilty because they feel like that's what made this person pass quickly. Is their, you know, their deep longing for you. Them, them now feeling as though what we got going on inside this house ain't enough. Yeah, they, they, this person, they, but they've dealt with that, Scorpio. they dealt with the guilt of them feeling like they made this person pass quick so y'all could be together. I'm definitely getting an age gap here. 
Yeah, look at these major arcanas keep coming out. The high priestess. I'm telling you, I feel like this person, I feel like they're like real intuitive too and connected with source as well. Yeah, the four pentacles, the tower, the two of swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is no longer stuck. They're free. It's like you freed them. You freed them. I, I don't know what was going in going on, on your end, Scorpio, but you freed them. You you made them realize that this the life that they was living with this person wasn't a purpose life. <coughs> they realized it was a life of obligation and appearance. This person wants to live love out loud with you. Like they they already felt this. This person been obsessed with you, Scorpio, since they disappeared. <laughs> I don't even feel, I feel like whatever y'all had was brief as well. I don't feel like it was a long-term thing, but I just feel like, look at all these major arcanas. <laughs> the hermit. I just feel like y'all were two people that were very, <clears throat> that are very compatible. I feel like this your person. <clears throat> I feel like it is, they, they know it. Yeah, look, the queen of cups. Cancer energy again. Got Sag Leo Virgo here. So with the hermit card, this is just what I said. This person took time off to, to make sure they, they, you know, dotted all the I's, crossed the T's, got their business affairs worked out, sold their house. Like, this person is like, we won't live in this house. I'm going to sell this house. And I'm hearing people are very pissed off at this person. They feel like he moved on quick. And, and, and this person don't give a fuck how they feel. Because they don't realize the torment this person been through trying to make their way back to you with an offer, Scorpio. Not, not to even mention this person almost feels single-handedly guilty for this person's death. It's, it's, they feel like it happened quicker than it, than it normally would have. This person was going anywhere is what I'm getting. Yeah, look at this. This, this person feel like they willed themselves free with the um, Queen of Cups. The page of wands and the nine of pentacles with the seven of pentacles. It's almost like they were sitting waiting on this, waiting on her to die. That's how they feel now that they're free, but they're over it now, Scorpio. They worked that shit out. What else? Yeah, the devil in reverse. I'm telling you, this devil in reverse is are the naysayers. These are the people that feels like he moved on. I feel like it's an age gap. So these people talking shit about you being younger and more beautiful and more this and more that. They're also very like, I feel like this feels like country. You feel like city, Scorpio to me. They, they feel like you're different. Like he went for different, like you a Jezebel or something. And his person was like more wholesome country type bitch. Okay, who cares? <clears throat> It feels like that type of energy with the devil in reverse, but your person like they they on this they on this they standing on business. They like people don't know what it feels like to be in some shit and know this ain't what you're supposed to be in and have a taste, just a little taste of something that gives you some type of hope that it is a such thing as love. This person have been in this shit so long, it's almost like they don't even believe in love anymore. It's like they didn't even give, they don't even give a damn how they feel about, they don't even know how they feel. This person was just lost. And now with the devil in reverse, they realized they was the problem. They realized they could have got out of this shit at any time. So this person went and processed all this shit. They, they, they're taking accountability for their part in it. This person is working through this shit so y'all have a good marriage. Because y'all are definitely get, getting married. This person... They ain't gonna take no for an answer, Scorpio. And it's not, it's a good obsession. It's it's this person knowing that you're what's good for them. And they feel like the feeling that is mutual is gonna be reciprocated. Why? Because they feel like y'all should be in perfect alignment. This person feels like maybe you felt the same way. Let's get into it. Definitely coming towards you. Clear by this chariot. Definitely come towards you with the chariot, with the offer, and the knight of cups. Like this person, I can't stop. I can't stop saying enough about this person, cause I like the fact that he stood on business first. He can't. He went and got some plans together. He went and got some shit together. 
See, this is what happens, Scorpio, when you do the work on yourself. This is what happens when you realize self-care and self-love is the most important thing, your spiritual health. Because the universe automatically starts matching your energy and moving things around, baby, for you, for it to go down. And that's how this person feels. This person feels like you were spiritually guided to them. They were spiritually guided to you. And this person ain't letting go of this shit. They have not been able to let you go, this love go for you since they met you. Why? Because they haven't experienced love this whole entire time. They know that's what it got to be. They know that's what it's got to feel like. And they want that feeling all the time. They've slept with other people, I'm hearing. That's the other thing, too. It's like, it's some more little miscellaneous bitches who think when this person passed, they was next in line. Oh, well. You somebody they didn't even know about, Scorpio. These other hoes that he was fucking around with, everybody knew about that shit. And they thought they was somewhere high ranking. Like when when this when this when this lady gone, they up next. So it's a lot of bitches pissed off too, cause he ghosted their ass too. What else on the chariot? Yeah, the king. Y'all better talk to me. This man is ready to be a householder. The king of cups is definitely. A married man or somebody aspiring to get married. Somebody who's emotionally all in and emotionally capable of sustaining a relationship with divine feminine energy. Okay, just period. This is somebody who know how to be comfortable with a divine feminine energy. He knows what it takes to make that work. He knows what it takes as a divine masculine um, to get back what he received, what he needs to receive without manipulation. Okay. Protection, honesty, truth, that type of shit. Providing. Being an active listener. Okay. Shit like that. What else? This somebody who take care of business too. Yo, look the death card. The page of wands. Yeah, this person is, this person, I feel like with the page of wands here and the death card, I feel like this person, they slowly moving towards you, Scorpio. This is, they still trying to figure out what and how they need to approach. You know why? Because this person feels like they got a lot to lose. I don't know why, but Scorpio, they feel as though they got one shot with you. <laughs> yeah, they about right. Like, literally. This person, this person too, they could be thinking maybe like, maybe you still in that energy of no string attached type um, connections. Because you got to remember this person went away. This person went away and got their affairs straight. So they've been gone about a year or so or something like that. Maybe you hadn't heard from them, seen them. Yeah, the seven of cups in reverse. This person is realizing it's not a lot of ways, you know, to be in love. It's only it's only one way to be in love. The Knight of Pentacles. Everything this person is doing up until this point is so that they can love you forever. I'm here forever. The Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. The Knight of Swords to the Emperors. This person is rushing in now. They realize... They don't, they, it's no plan. <laughs> it's no rehearsal. It, you're going to forget all that shit when you see Scorpio any fucking way. Just speak from the heart. That's what this person is saying. Just, just speak from the heart, the Knight of Swords. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to say. I don't know what you're going to do. All I know is I got to do this shit. Clarify the four wands. Yeah, this person all in. This person, they're confessing their love, just period. Yeah, the eight of wands on the four wands. <laughs> Like, I, I don't care how they get here. Just get here when you can type shit is what I'm getting. This person may be coming by motorcycle. They might be coming by Greyhound. I doubt it. But what they bring in though with them is what I love. The peace, the temperance, the balance, the tranquility, the deep knowing of, of themselves. You know, the, it, it ain't about what you come here to offer me, 1919 on the timer, because... Especially when you're talking about material things. See, this person ain't coming to you material. That's the other thing. That's easy. If you look all down here, the only thing we seeing really is wands and fucking cups. <laughs> this person about their action. This person, you know, th this is not somebody who come in and say, okay, this is how much money I got in my bank account. And I'm going to be able to take care of you type of offer. No, this person offering forever. 
This person is all is offering to love you forever. The money is just a byproduct of what y'all got going on. This person, and and by the way, I just want to energetically say, this person feels like the money, the money that they inherited from this, it, it, it's a it's minuscule to what they what what you guys will build together. Okay, it's it's nothing. It's good money. It allowed him to stay off and work. It allowed him to heal and go, you know, be able to meditate, exercise, and get back online. But it wasn't like no mind-blowing money like that. But it's enough for y'all to get another home and for you guys to begin to build here. This person is coming with an offer of love, period. What else on this four wands? They don't want to do this time with nobody else. <laughs> I hear them saying that. They could say that. The King of Pentacles. It's like, I don't want to do this time with nobody else but you. I want to lock this shit in with the King of Pentacles. This person ready to lock it in. The Hierophant. I can't make this shit up. I feel like you guys, um, you get married. I mean, the four ones clarified by the Hierophant, the King Kingpin, the, um, the Temperance, and the Eight of Wands. I feel like this happens quick. Remember what I said earlier. People are mad that this shit happens so quick. People are saying shit like his wife ain't even cold in her grave yet. And he getting married again. Well, why should I wait six years for y'all motherfuckers to be okay with it? Y'all ain't y'all y'all in marriages that don't work. Y'all y'all in the same situation I was in and refused to get out of it because it's comfortable and you telling me wait six years and give this person or my, myself an opportunity to lose out on each other? Like, fuck y'all. And that's where this person at. They, this person knew you was their person before this person died. This person knew you was their person. That's why they went and got everything in order. Like, this person bringing you home. This person not coming to you to make an offer and say, okay, now let's figure this shit out. No, this person went off for a year, sold their home, you know, dissolved everything else, put it in their bank account. A totally different home, totally different. I mean, this person even got you a car, a truck, an SUV or something. Like, this person is bringing you home. Like, this person ain't on no superficial bullshit. This ain't the normal offers what we talk about. Look at the Queen of Cups, King of Cups. This person coming to pick you up from your apartment or your house and taking you home. To a home. A home that looks good on the outside for appearances and on the inside they never know how much love was inside that building. Because y'all keep that shit to yourself. Hermit energy. Yeah, the queen of swords. Bitches mad, I'm telling you, a lot of talk. A lot of talk, but they got to tell the truth. The truth is that marriage he was in wasn't shit. No way it was what people wanted him to do. On the strength card, the queen of pentacles is here. A lot of people here. A lot of people voicing their opinions. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people on, on this lady's side of the family, a man's side of the family, feel like, you know, you shouldn't have gotten the money you got. The death card. <laughs> they feel like you, they feel like they sister or whoever this was should have left the money to them or left them more money or more property. She left all her shit to you, to him, which... Yeah, they she really left it to you and him. Because that's who going to enjoy the fruits of this labor. And that's what got these motherfuckers mad. Who gives a fuck? Because your person don't. I feel like, too, with the death card, yeah, this person is glad that he, he's really out making an offer. Because, see, the thing about y'all was he approached you. Y'all got together on a one night stand, no strings attached type shit. Okay, so you got to understand where this person's mind could be going with this shit, Scorpio. He could be feeling like maybe she ain't in the marriage. Because I really feel like y'all wasn't, I feel like the chemistry was good, but I feel like y'all really didn't get into small talk about like what y'all did for a living, if you're married, if you're whatever like this. Y'all, this whole thing was just too, was an outlet. So it let off some steam, so to speak, so you could deal with the shit that you're dealing with at the house. Does that make sense? So the nine of cups <laughs> clarifying the death card. You're this person's wish fulfillment. They, they don't give a fuck. They know they manifested you. They know that this is a sacred union. They don't give a fuck what her family say or they family say. They family, her family is the reason why they stay in this stuck book ass relationship forever. 
They was listening to other people. Now this person manifested the life they wanted. They go to Ten of Pentacles. He gonna make you the offer. And who gives a fuck what people think? You the Queen of Cups. They're the King of Cups. This person know you that person. Just period. This judgment keep coming out in the reverse. Because everybody who talking shit gonna be eating shit in a minute. What else? Yeah, they, they see, this This all clarifying the strength card. They thought they was going to be able to tell this person what to do with the money. They thought they was going to be able to still control this person outside of this marriage they already got him to bullshit in. And he didn't. This bitch fought his way out of this shit. Fought his way all the way to Scorpio and ain't nothing you could do about it. Do you know what this person had to do to be able to make Scorpio fucking awful? And y'all low vibrational bitches sitting up rooting down for it because you talking about his wife ain't cold in the grave yet? Who gives a fuck? Respectfully. Life goes on, baby. Clarify the high preacher. This whoever this woman was too, she, she hated being in this shit. They feeling the same way. She just got sick. She wasn't able to find nobody else. Her time was up. Clarifying the high priestess is the lover's card. Can't nobody stop this union. It was faded. Gemini energy. This is somebody who loves the high priestess in you. Why? Because they are too. This is somebody who's very spiritual. This is somebody who own your vibe. They're connected to you. The six of wands, this marriage, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, and whoever these bitches is who thought they were next in line, bitch, go somewhere and sit the fuck down. Go somewhere and sit the fuck down. That's all I got to say, bitch. You're not the one. Why didn't you cause, why didn't you cause the universe to move and react? Why y'all connection, and these feel like bitches from years ago. These feel like bitches he used to fuck with. Now the wife dead, ain't cold in the grave, and here they come sniffing, but they talking shit about them getting married to somebody younger. But girl, bye. Y'all wishing it was you. Yeah, look, the Seven of Swords. They wishing it was them. That's all. It ain't going to work. The thing about the Seven of Swords, y'all are being very strategic. That's the thing about y'all. Yeah, the Page of Swords coming out in the reverse. They can't find out what y'all doing, where y'all at. They don't know much about Scorpio, and that's how you want to keep it. You're keeping y'all love life safe. What they see is what they get. And what they see is pure divine love. They're not seeing appearances. And that's what's got, that's what has everybody fucked up. It's like, oh, this for real, this person, they married, married. See, that was, everybody knew the truth about this marriage. That it was a farce, obligation type shit. Yeah, the hangman in reverse. Everybody knew what time it was with this marriage. It was like a, a, a um, what do they call it? When people make you marry somebody? Like a, a, a stage marriage or whatever the fuck? Clear body sermon. It went from love. Everybody knew this was a marriage of love. Everybody knew that. The Ace of Swords. So you you and this person on the hermit, y'all y'all really are able to keep y'all connection sacred away from these Blood sucking hounds who are trying to disturb the peace. It's like you can't. The Ten of Swords. All these swords, Scorpio and her, and they person have worked very hard to make sure these type of things don't happen with people. The Four of Cups. They're safeguarding their relationship. Just period. There are no other opportunities. They don't want any other opportunities. The Four of Cups is here. They love being bored. Scorpio boring anyway. We like to sit home and chill. Have everything we need at our house and not have to go no fucking well. Yeah, the three of swords in reverse. But this is not what's going on. This is what's going on in our house. Not this. We're releasing and healing heartbreak, man. We're continuously moving through this thing. Yeah, the knight of swords. With vigor, with stamina. Like, this person not only have a plan, but they keep making plans. The three of wands on the bottom of the deck. They keep making future plans. It's your person. They planned everything with you in mind. Like I said, the seven of pentacles. This person looks at it as an investment. <laughs> Not a fucking ball and chain. Clarify the devil in reverse. The moon. Yeah, now people wonder what's going on. Where they at? The judgment. Everybody want to do over. Everybody want to spin the block. They think it should have been them. They don't know where you at. The tower card, Scorpio energy. Yeah. I love it. It's like a smoke screen. The two of wands. While they sit up trying to figure out ways to blow this shit up, 
Y'all making futuristic plans together. That's why I say y'all work. The Eight of Cups. That's why this person walked away from everything, went and got their shit together, and came back towards you, the Nine of Swords, in reverse. This person worked out their fears, their anxieties. And Scorpio, what I'm hearing is you say yes. You feel the same way. You always wonder where the fuck they was at. What's the advice? You going right towards it. Nine of Pentacles energy. You free. The Queen of Wands showing up in the reverse is somebody who's still mad because you young and they marrying you. The Three of Cups. Yeah. Whoever this Queen, this Queen of Wands could be this person's mom because I feel like they fed the families are deep in this shit. Well, bitch, you either going to be there celebrating or you're not. It's just what it is. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. This person, this is, they're not giving this shit up. It's the Ace of Wands energy. It's a new, exciting energy. And guess what? Scorpio, all theirs with all the strings attached. They don't play about you, Scorpio. And they don't let outside interferences anywhere near you guys' connection. Like just period. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, share, subscribe, join the membership, book me for a reading, donate to the channel, let those ads play. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.